Hi, this is Mike, and we're back again with Game Creator 2 video on interaction. So how do we get the character to interact with a, a, a thing that has a hotspot on it that we want to be an interactable object? Well, the hotspot alone is not enough to tell the system uh, that it's interactable. What we need to do is to have a trigger that has the on interact event and Game Creator 2 knows that any object that has the on interact trigger is interactable. So then you, the character will be able to interact with this cube and the on interact event will tell it well what's going to happen when the player interacts. So I've got this event here with the just a debug log right now and we'll see if we can get the player to interact with it. So with that, we need to have an input system. Uh, we need to be listening for some input. So we need to trigger and look at the input uh, input button. And instead of, so we want uh, usage interact. So the it's a it'll be the E key and the West stick on gamepad. So by default, unless you use the new input system. Interact will be the E key. So unless you remap it with the uh, input action maps. Uh, but uh, so on input button, interact, what will it do? We need to tell the character to interact. So there's an interact uh, player do interact uh, instruction. And that's all we need to do. So now if the player approaches the cube within two units of the cube, which is, I have it set to near the, within two, it will be able to interact with it. So, okay, it's not working. Okay, let's put this back to on interaction focus. So we gotta make sure that the hotspot is set to on interaction focus so that the character will focus or it will activate when the character focuses it. And the on interaction focus is only works on characters. So now it's there. So now if I interact with it using E, I should see something in the console log on interact event so it's working so now that it's working we can tell it what to do so there's you can do just about anything in game creator when it happens so you can trigger other things you can do everything anything you can imagine uh, just for now I will just say and you can have a series of instructions as well so I could just inactivate this object if I want to just get rid of it, I can just inactivate it and we can pretend that the player has picked up the object and put it in their inventory, for instance, if this was a like an object they could pick up. So now it's gone. So that is the interaction system. So it's pretty powerful and it, it's not, not too difficult to get it to work. And that is how you interact with an object. So just to summarize, you need to make sure the player is set to the near character one if you're doing third person. If you're doing first person, you want screen cursor, screen center, and screen cursor if you're doing a point and click. And then make sure your interactable cube has the on, focus, on interaction focus and the on interact trigger otherwise it won't know there's also another trigger you can add to it that uh, is also available so you can do on focus as well and on blur as well which are executed when the character loses focus or when it gains focus so if the character focuses on the object we can log some text here character 
focused. And then if I want to look at the other one, the on blur, we, we can say debug log character lost focus. And we'll see when those events get triggered. So we'll see that come up right now. Character focused, character lost focus. Focused, lost. So those are those events. And then I interacted with it. So those are all the interaction events. So you can do things when the character gets in range and gets out of range too. So uh, so now let's let's see what happens when we try to interact with an object through another object. Um, in real life, you wouldn't be able to interact with this cube through a glass win a thick glass window like this. So um, this is the reason there's a, a raycast option on the on interact trigger. So if you have use raycast turned on, and you can specify which layers that you want affected by it. So as long as the cube and the glass window are the same layer, then you won't be able to interact through the, through the window. So if you turn it off, you will be able to. So this is important when it comes to level design because if you can interact through walls and through windows, then um, it, it could break your level design. So yeah, I can interact through it. Even though I cannot get through the window, I can interact through it. So we don't want that. So therefore, if we turn on Raycast and both objects are part of the default layer, we can prevent the player from uh, interacting with stuff through walls. Because you don't want that. You don't want the player to go in through walls and getting around your. Because maybe you want that in there in, in a locked room, and you don't want them to be able to get into it right away. So, but they know it's there, but they can't interact with it. So, and then if you come around and get into it, then you can interact with it. So that is the raycast option. So it would shoot a ray. And if, you, if there's something in the way between the player and the object, it won't allow the interaction to take place. So that's a quick tip on interactions. So like, subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one.